Hey, good morning. Joe here. It's Firearms Friday. So today I thought we'd step out of our comfort zone a little bit and talk about something we've not really talked about before in the last four years of doing these videos, and that is the Russian AK-47. Now this was, uh, gun was produced back in the mid-40s during World War II by Andrei Kalishnikov. This was his baby's design, but it really didn't come to be in where they could use it until 1947. So that's where the 47 comes from. And by the way, AK does not stand for Andrei Kalishnikov, it stands for Automatic Kalishnikov. So don't let anybody kid you. So this is one of the guns we have here available in the range. This is a 762 by 39 millimeter cartridge. So this gun is kind of standard. It's a basic gun. It has an adjustable sight right here, as you can see here, and a semi-peep sight on the front here with a flash hider. So this is your standard gun right here. Now let me show you a little bit of an upgrade here. Now this one, of course, is a nice upgrade here. This has wood furniture, and by the way, this is the correct name for these parts of the gun. Furniture is the right name. It doesn't matter if it's plastic or wood like this one, but furniture is the correct name. But this one has a nice folding stock, so I'm going to turn it around so you can see here. I'm going to press this button right here, and that releases the stock. It comes around and folds it. And if I want to fold it back, I just press that button and fold it back. But this one also has the sliding adjustable sight here, and the peep sight up front, okay? Now, if you wanna add a sight to this, that creates a bit of a problem because there's no readily available way like on an AR, which has a pick rail on top of it. This one, of course, has been modified by the owner and it's had a pick, Picatinny rail added here to the forward gas tube. So we could add a light or a, a sight or something right there. But if you want the uh, sight, let's say you're going to put a red dot on it, you want it back here, there's no way to readily attach this to this cover. So let me show you what happens here. This is an adapter made by Midwest Industries. And yes, we sell these here at the store. But you can see it has a pick rail on top. And of course, you can add your sight. To add this to your gun, you simply take it and set it in this position right here, like so. And close that down. And you're good to go. Now, another thing that's been done to this gun, this gun has a single stage trigger. Guns typically come in what we call a single stage or a double stage. A double stage trigger gives you time as the gun trigger takes up a little bit of space and then it fires. This is in fact a single stage trigger from Timney that's been added to this particular gun by the owner. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna cock the gun, it's empty. Now watch this trigger when I pull this trigger. This is about a three pound trigger. Okay, you see there's no take up right there. Now let's compare that to this one. I'll cock the gun. Now watch how long it takes to do this one. See, there's quite a bit of take up in this one. So if you're gonna work on your gun, whether it's an AK, AR, whatever, handgun, think about the trigger. You have single stage triggers that function immediately when you touch it. So you better be ready to fire the gun if you touch that trigger. Or if you get a double stage trigger, you've got a little bit of take up time. Self-defense firearms, especially pistols, typically have a very long take-up in a two-stage trigger because self-defense guns are designed for you to make sure that you really want to shoot somebody with that. So think about how much take-up time there is in that trigger, whether it's a single-stage or a double-stage trigger. So a little bit of recap. A lot of things you can do to an AK. Like I said, this one's got nice wood furniture on it. It's got an adapted rail up here. Uh, of course, we've got this, the Holosun, solar-powered Holosun added to this one here. Lots of things you can do to an AK just like you can to your AR. So you might want to get into the AK world and, and spread your wings a little bit. All right, that's it for this week here at Larry's. Remember, all of us here at Larry's want you to stay armed and stay safe. Bye-bye.